Matters relating to land grabbing in the country each day threatens most sectors, the most vulnerable being the unprivileged and the disadvantaged because of lack of financial ability. The education sector is allegedly in trouble after Kitanda Primary School is among those being targeted by grabbers. They now want to have their school land resurveyed and fenced off to avoid attempts of being encroached on. They say they are holding talks with the KCCA. KCCA came in and they rescued the situation. They have brought our surveyors to work on this. Much as the land is not fenced, which is a big challenge. We need the lands get fenced and then I don't think the encroachers will anymore come and encroach on the land. But to KCCA, it is prudent that the ministry avails information regarding public schools so that they can be resurveyed and fenced. According to the deputy KCCA mayor, most schools in prime land areas are under threat of encroachment, calling upon schools' management never to side with grabbers. Responsibility to watch who is trying to, to survey particular land even around the place, even if you do not know where the school land ends. Let's communicate, let's know who is trying to look at which land so that we are able to protect what belongs to the school. The headmistress Kitante, Jen Semugoma, wants the ministry to give UPE and USE schools to be given more teachers and infrastructure, arguing that the teacher to learner ratio is the worst ever in the region. The teacher pupil ratio, I don't think it is the best. If we could get more teachers, we need more classrooms, the infrastructure itself, we need more, more classrooms, we need more uh, toilet facilities, and the parents work together, we can get a desired meal. Best UPE pupil of Kitata Primary School was given a bicycle as a way of motivating others. Kitata got 115 first grades with 278 second grades, indicating an increment in the number of first grades for this year by 18.